guys, it's Squishy Boa Forever, and today I'm going to be doing the homemade squishy tag created by Everything Quiet Eleven, and this was requested by Sofia Campos. So the original video made by Everything Quiet Eleven doesn't exist right now, so I'm going to be looking at other people's and seeing what the questions are. So the first question is, what is the first homemade squishy you have ever made? So I'm not exactly sure what was the first homemade squishy I've ever made, and but I do know that I have some old homemade squishies in my room that just looks really ugly, so please don't judge. So first, um, I started off by just getting some scrap pieces of dollar store sponge and drawing faces, and yeah, it looks really ugly, it's just basically Sharpie on sponge. Then I started getting some acrylic paint and um, making stuff like this. And this is supposed to be a Hello Kitty donut. And if you see my recent Hello Kitty donut right now, you can see that it's a big difference from this. This is just like ugly. Then I started getting some Scribbles paint. And I started practicing on homemade squishies. And now I can make better homemade squishies like this Pikachu. So yeah. So, the second question is, which homey squishy do you like the most slash most proud of? So, that will have to be these two, like, cakes, I guess. And these are basically decoed face buns. Well, like, fake ones. And I'm not going to take it out of packaging because I'm too lazy. And it's really hard to put back in. So, this one is just like a chocolate cake. It's super squishy, and here's the tag that I made. And I also have this purple monkey one. And there's the tag, and this is a monkey, like rubber tag, but it's not made out of rubber. But I can't really show you right now because of the packaging, so yeah. And I am working on a new homemade squishy that I might be more proud of. Like, I'm really happy with how it's going right now. But I'm not going to show you guys because um, it's a surprise. So, question number three is, which homemade squishy did you epically fail on? That will have to be this Treparashka squishy. And I have no idea why it turned out really bad, but... Yeah, the face does not look like the Chabaraska squishy. And, yeah, it's just not good. Question number four is, what do you make your squishies out of? I make my homemade squishies out of crush balls. And right now, I don't really have any more. Um, I also use dollar store sponges, which are like these sponges. And you could get like ten like big size sponges, like rectangle pieces for a dollar which is pretty cheap and I also use this sponge from Joann's it looks like this and um, it's not really squishy it's not really a good foam to use but it's still foam so I like it and this wasn't that expensive when I first got it it was huge and it costs like five dollars question number five is which homie squishy is the squishiest that will have to be either these like squishy cakes or this um, cream puff. And this was made by a super squishy crush ball that my brother ripped up. So I just made this cream puff out of it. And it's super slow rising. Here's just an overview of the squishy. Question number six is, which homie squishy was the most difficult to make slash took the most time? So that would have to be my Hello Kitty Donut squishy. And this took a pretty long time. It took about two days. But it would have took longer if it was not a weekend or something. Like, I worked on this like basically the entire day, not just like an hour. So yeah, this took the most time. And was like the hardest to make. Question number seven is which homie squishy is the biggest and which homie squishy is the smallest? This is my tiniest slash smallest squishy. And this was supposed to be a rice cake but I guess it could be like a brownie. 
And this was made out of a crush ball. And my biggest homemade squishy is this Hello Kitty donut that I already showed you guys. Question number eight is, why do I make homemade squishies? So, I make homemade squishies because they're fun. And you can also design your own squishy. So, you can make it however you want it to look. And, yeah. And also, probably because, like, if something's too expensive, I can make my own. So, like, the Rilakkuma series, they're really expensive to buy. So, I'll, like, make my own. Question number nine is, which homemade squishy did you make the most recently, and do you like it? So, that will have to be this coffee bun squishy. And, yes, I do like it, because it's kind of like my own idea, because um, I actually made this squishy smell, and I made it smell like coffee, which is pretty awesome, because it's a coffee bun. So, I'm pretty proud of it, and yeah. And the last question, question number 10 is, how long did it take to make the squishy you worked the most hard on? And that is the Hello Kitty donut again, and that took about, like, two days, like, straight. Like, I didn't really do it for just, like, one or two hours. I did it for, like, worked on it, like, most of the day. So, I hope you guys enjoy my homemade squishy tag that was created by Everything Quiet 11. And thank you for requesting this, Sophia Campos. And yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! So I just found out I had a smaller homemade squishy than this um, rice cake or brownie. And that will have to be this milk candy. And um, I made this a really long time ago, so it's not the best quality. And this was made out of scrap sponge, and I didn't paint it all the way. But it's really squishy. So yeah, bye.